Nation Secretary General Antonio Guterres on Thursday described the earthquake that struck Turkey and Syria as one of the biggest natural disasters in our time. Now, amid um, ramped up rescue and aid efforts, he reveals that the first United Nations convoy has crossed into northeast um, Syria. Speaking to journalists in New York, Mr. Guterres said the convoy includes six trucks loaded with shelter and other desperately needed relief supplies. Moses Imen has the rest of that. Turkey and Syria were struck by vigorous earthquakes that tore through the two countries earlier this week, inflicting a large scale of destruction, killing tens of thousands and leaving thousands more injured. The two countries are since facing the unbearable experience of the aftershocks and the United Nations is in the front line of emergency response efforts already. The organization has released 25 million U.S. dollars from its Central Emergency Response Fund to jumpstart the response and is expected to launch a flash appeal for donor support for those affected by the earthquake in Syria by early next week. While giving his overview of the immeasurable impact of the earthquakes, the United Nations chief says that more help is on the way to Syria and Turkey but observes that much more assistance is needed. The earthquake that struck uh, Turkey and Syria is one of the biggest natural disasters in our times. Just hours ago, the first United Nations convoy crossed into northern Syria through the Bab al Awa crossing. It included six trucks carrying shelter and other desperately need relief supplies. More help is on the way, but much more, much more is needed. Mr. Guterres also spoke of the solidarity shown to those affected, saying he is deeply moved and further enumerated the UN's engagement in the face of the sickening impact of the earthquakes. And so on my visits, I was deeply moved by the solidarity of people who opened their homes and their hearts. Now those homes have been destroyed and those arts are breaking. A center of solidarity is now an epicenter of suffering. People are facing nightmare on top of nightmare. We are deploying disaster assessment experts, coordinating search and rescue teams, providing emergency relief, food, medical supplies, thermal blankets, and other life-saving items. And we are committed to do much more. The UN Secretary General expanded on the calamities, adding that now is the ideal time to explore all possible avenues to deploy aid and personnel into all affected areas. To provide this assistance, we will need two things. First, access. Roads are damaged, people are dying. Now is the time to explore all possible avenues to get aid and personnel into all affected areas. We must put people first. Second, resources. The humanitarian response, the Syrian Humanitarian Fund and the Syria Cross-Border Fund need an urgent injection of support. In the face of this epic disaster, I strongly appeal to the international community to show the people of Turkey and Syria the same kind of support and generosity with which they received, protected and assisted millions of refugees and displaced people in an enormous show of solidarity. Mr. Guterres has, however, warned that now is the hour to stand up for the people of Turkey and Syria amid the unfolding catastrophic conditions. At least 18,000 people have been killed in Turkey, according to the country's vice president, while in Syria, over 3,000 people are reported dead. Rescue teams are on the ground digging into the rubble for a fifth consecutive day to find more survivors of the devastating earthquakes that swept across cities in Turkey and Syria. For iAfrica News, I am Moses Imendi.